Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. So today I thought I would do a quick video on uh, Jobber and show you how to schedule a job with Jobber. Uh, it's very simple and easy and I love using Jobber. It uh, keeps me very organized. Uh, before Jobber, I was using just a uh, day, day, uh, day timer book and I couldn't read my writing and it was very frustrating that I couldn't figure out what the average phone numbers of people were. So let's run through this uh, uh, scheduling a job on Jobber and show you how easy it is. This is a jobber schedule. I love using the schedule. It's so easy to use. So basically what you have on the side for your tabs here, you've got your create, your home, schedule, clients, requests, quotes, jobs, invoices, reports, expenses, timesheet, apps, and refer a friend. So we're going to be basically focusing on this today. Um, so there's kind of two parts to this. So there's the scheduled jobs here where you can schedule your jobs. And on this side here is where you have unscheduled jobs where you don't have a time that you have uh, the job set up, but you can go and click on them and uh, schedule a job for them. So as you can see, I've already got jobs booked. Um, I've got my uh, thing that I have every Tuesday. It's recurring every Tuesday that I go to. Um, and then... Yeah, these are the jobs here that have already been done and invoiced for, which is nice. Uh, it lets you have reminders. So basically what you want to do is if you're going to create a new job, you can come to the schedule here you can click on it and you've got a couple options here. You've got new job, new request, new task, new calendar event, uh, show on day view or show on map view. So what we're going to do is click on new job. And then we're going to have this page right here. So it's got a bunch of information on it. So you've got a job for a client's name. Uh, you've got the title of the job, the instructions for the job. Uh, you've got, you know, your calendar. You can hide the calendar if you want. Show calendar. I like to show the calendar so I can see what other jobs I have booked already. Um, you've got your start date, end date. You've got your times to start the job and end the job. Um, and this is where the schedule later is. You can click on that and it'll schedule the job later. Um, and then here you can assign your team. Uh, you must assign a team to be able to see it in the schedule. I think um, if you don't assign it, then you can't um, send the invoices out on the fly. Um, and then just a couple other things here. I created a couple of job forms as well for my employees. So if they're using it, they can see and uh, leave you know certain um, remarks if they've done anything like this. Uh, then down below, you've got your product and service, your price and total. Uh, and then you've got your... Uh, that's the rest of it. So what we'll do, we'll use me as a um, reference. So I'll just put my name in here. If I can do it proper. Can't spell my name today. All right, so go like that. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna create, say, a uh, window cleaning job. So I already have the window cleaning, so just click on the window cleaning. Um, and then we will put instructions, uh, clean inside and outside windows. All right, so after that, we can come down to here. So it's going to schedule for February the 8th. Um, our start time, let's say we're going to start at 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock, so we just put 8 o'clock a.m. And then say it's going to take us two hours, so you just put, uh, sorry, uh, 10, 10 a.m. So there you go. That's how you do that. So you can assign your team. So assign me. All right, so I have assigned myself to it. Then down here, you can click on this. You have all your services down below here. So you just click on window cleaning. Um, so clean windows inside and out. Let's make sure it's spelled properly. And then you've got your quantity, unit price, and total. So usually for my windows, I just have a unit price. So I'll put in, say, it's a $500 job. Uh, there's a total. Um, and then so it has a total here. And then when you actually set the quote out, it will give you the tax amount as well. Um, so if you do have another service that you do want to do that day for a customer, so you can add a line item. So maybe they wanted their deck cleaned as well. So you can do uh, clean deck, deck, and then say the decks, you know, say $300, put your $300 in and it'll give you your total price. So from there, you can save job or save and send. So you can uh, email the booking. Um, I'll show you that quickly what it looks like. So this is the next thing that comes up. Um, this is uh, the form that you can uh, send to your customers. So once you do that, you can send the email and it will confirm with the customer the day and time. So it just tells you, you know, uh, the person's name and, you know, thanks for booking with us at the time that they're going to show up in the address. Um, 
this here you can change in the settings if you want, uh, but I'm not going to, so I'm not going to send this out just because uh, I don't want to send that out to myself. But this was just for a purpose, just to show you what it's like. So we'll just cancel that. So now when you do that, the job is here in your schedule, which is very nice. So when you click on this, you can see the details of the job and whatnot. Uh, you can edit it, you can view your details, just view details quickly. So this shows where the job is, shows uh, my address, shows my phone number, shows everything you need. Um, and then here's our job forms. So this is where this will show where your, um, you know, your, your things, if anything gets broken or if, uh, you know, whatnot from there. So that's very helpful. So if anything gets broken, your employees can show you that. Um, and then that's pretty much it for, for creating a job on the schedule. And then once your schedule gets filled up, you will have, uh, you know, this fully booked up, like you can see I have on here already. And then you can color code it as well. I actually started to color code it so I know which jobs are which. So my window cleaning are blue, my lawn care uh, is gonna be, I think it's green I put it. So uh, when you see that, you can differentiate pretty quickly which uh, job you are doing. So I just wanted to run over that pretty quickly just to show you guys uh, kind of how to create a job in Jobber and how simple it is. Um, I love using this, it keeps me organized. Uh, I can see all my jobs pretty nicely. Uh, but and as well, here you can uh, create the um, the view for month, week, day, map, or list. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoyed this video.